hey y'all it's Tammy with real southern woman and I don't know if you can tell where I'm at some of y'all know we're at our little trailer in Pensacola um, so I thought I would do my we got here probably around 5 30 or 6 o'clock Georgia time then we went to the grocery store. I just walked the whole grocery store. And Chris is putting up the groceries because I've got a little bit of work to do. And after driving that long ride uh, and walking in the grocery store, because you know your uh, my ankles must be a little swollen. So I told him, I said, honey, you get to put up the groceries. <laughs> hey, Donna. Hey, put uh, hey Pat. Let's see who else is here. And Tappy. Hey, y'all. Yes, we are in Florida. We decided since the weather was going to be pretty, we would take a ride down here. Y'all, I haven't been down here since, what, November, Chris? Uh, probably, yeah. I haven't been down here since November. He came with his daddy since then, and then he's came along since then. So, um... It's been a while since I've been here. And I had to turn on the heater. It was 64 degrees in here. And I thought I could handle it, but I couldn't. And I told Chris, I said, I've got to turn the heater on. So uh, we just turned on the heater. We got a bunch of good stuff to cook. Because you know I cook when I come down here. Uh, it's so much easier. Like, we just had Hardee's. And, ugh. I just don't like it. And so we bought... There's a... Uh, grocery store down here called Greer's and it's kind of like one of those grocery stores that are like you know cost plus but they have these packages of meat and you can get five for $19.99 so we got bone uh, breast on the bone chicken that I'm gonna use in my little rice cooker which is nothing more than a little it's an aroma pot it's like a little uh, it's like a little crock pot. It's not like a Instapot. And then uh, we've got our air fryer down here. The first one we got. And then we've got, um, anyway, we got some chicken. We got some chicken strips that I can fry. We got some barbecue. Well, some pork chops. Chris is going to make his barbecue sauce. I'll probably do it live on Car Valley Cooks while we're down here. Um, and do the barbecue sauce because he made a butt roast the other day for the people at the bus for the bus drivers at school It was so good and so he made his own barbecue sauce and it was delicious and they all just loved it so much that uh, we're going to make it while we're down here live and let y'all have the recipe and then um, so we got the stuff to do the barbecue sauce and we got some pork chops what else? Hamburger meat. It's like for two people. So yeah. It's like, they sell it in packages that are like for two people. You know. So we got meat. the breast on the bone. That's one meal. We chicken got strips. the chicken strips as a meal. We got the pork chops as a meal. We got ground beef as a meal. And then we got hamburger patties as a meal. That'll probably feed us the whole time we're down here because then we've got other stuff. I got a pack of brownie mix. <laughs> Uh, some green beans and different stuff like that. Um, let's see. Anyway, and of course I got my whole buttermilk and some milk. And we got some great grains, cereal. Uh, but I hope y'all are ready. I hope we catch a few fish down here. Deb, and as a matter of fact, if we don't catch fish within the first few days, I may just talk Chris into getting in the truck and us riding down to Apalachicola, spending the night and going fishing a couple of days down there because I'm tired of not catching fish. Pensacola is just wide open. It's a big area. It's hard, a lot harder to catch fish than down in Appalach and St. George Island. So we'll see. If we decide to take another trip, we'll let y'all know. Y'all ready for Bible study? I hope y'all are having a blessed day. Uh, our views have been uh, down on Colored Valley Cooks. I don't really know why. 
But uh, we have been selling cookbooks, though. Matter of fact, Chris, you had a, a message from somebody that bought a cookbook, and they bought a uh, they bought a uh, bundle, and you only sent them one book. You'll have to look at it. So anyway, Chris does a he mails out all the cookbooks, y'all. Every cookbook we sell it comes through the house because we sign them, regardless if you get them on Amazon or PayPal or by check. We, you know, we send them out ourselves. Um, Lily Brittley said, "Yes, I made it." What is she talking about? I wonder. Is this the real time live? And I said, "Yes, it is." And she says, "I never catch you live." Hey, Linda. Hey, Becky. Betty Jean's on here. I got a lot of girls on here tonight. Dina. Martha. Taffy. Cat. Okay. It's so good to see everybody. Yes, we left the dogs behind, too. So, we don't even have to babysit the dogs. I'm going to miss them. But, you know, the girls can take good care of our dogs. I got in, oh, guess what, when I went to the grocery store. Y'all, am I driving y'all crazy rocking? I love these rocking rockers. We don't have them at home. These are Lazy Boy. And when me and Chris first moved into our house in Dallas, um, 2002, 2003-ish, we bought this Lazy Boy uh, couch and two, and two recliners. So, how old are they, Chris? It's 2002, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, I still count on my fingers. These are 17 years old, y'all. And they're wonderful. They're lazy boy. And we paid a lot of money for them. And I even went into the store and picked out the fabric that went on them. And I wanted the tapestry type fabric because we had little babies and I knew it would be easier to keep up. And, oh, my gosh, is it way easier to keep up than what we have now. We have microfiber, which you can wash, but it's nothing like this fabric that I got at Lazy Boy. Well, when we come down here, we realize what good furniture this is because the last time we bought furniture, we went to, uh, rooms, to go. rooms to go. And we bought our... Uh, living room set that we have now and it was not expensive and I mean it's cheap it started falling apart pretty fast Chris has already had to take the recliner flip it upside down and put some nails in it to get the boards to stay together we've never had to do anything to these in all 17 years that we've had them they have never ever warped or broke or so you get what you pay for. I mean, Lazy Boy's expensive, but I'm going to tell you, it lasts forever. We could have these recovered and them last another 20 years, I guarantee you. And those we have at home aren't worth a flip. We wouldn't recommend you go in there and get in the living room suit for nothing. But we definitely recommend Lazy Boy. So save up your money and um, do it right the next time you get something. Go in there and pick out your own fabric. I know you can't bring it home that day, but it's such a neat little thing to be able to go in there and pick out your own fabric for your furniture, I think. Um, no kids, no dogs. Sweet. Yes, it is. It's so funny. Uh, I don't know if y'all got to see Chris's video. This last video he put on there. You got to see my cousin and his wife, and we went out there and met with them on Saturday, and they bought some property out on the other side of the county that we live in. And they're going to renovate a big old house. And me and Chris, it's so funny because we're on our way down here, and all we're thinking about is renovating this kitchen and this trailer. Uh, we're, you know, because we want to be able to retire down here, but we still want to have Colorado Valley Cooks. And it's a little trailer. I mean, it really is. So you can see. My kitchen, I actually moved, um, see the kitchen? And then we have a sliding glass door in there. And so what I want to do is, um, I want to take the sliding glass door out. I'll show y'all right quick. But all we're worried about is renovating this down here in their 
because it's paid for already, you know, and why go and spend the money somewhere else? So this is uh, the trailer, and so what we want to do is there's the doors over there, and we're going to take those out, and then we're going to put a door in out of our bedroom because it's big. I'll show it to you. This is the bedroom, and I mean, it's a pretty big bedroom for a little trailer. This is a king-size bed. And so what I want to do, and there's the power box that's in the way. I was wanting to put the door right here. And so we'd have to clear this power box and put a door outside from the bedroom if we get rid of this door in here, probably. But what I want to do is renovate this so that the kitchen um, possibly has an actual bar. I'll probably take this out. Leave the sink on this side, put in a dishwasher, put the stove over here because I'm going to have cabinets all down this wall where these doors are. And uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we've been uh, thinking about renovating our trailer. It's, um, yeah, let me get Chris the Wi-Fi. And so, and then I'll, we'll start doing something else. Good Lord, these are those mega magnets we bought. Can't even hardly get anything out from under them. They're so, I just tore the paper. Oh, I have no idea. If we do, you're going to have to get up and look at the bottom of it. All right, let me turn it back around. Anyway, I've been getting you weight and I look like a chip bug. I was thinking that on the way down here. I am going to, to do better. I've just been drinking way too much Coca-Cola. Oh, I just love it. I don't know what. I just love it. Um, Chris, if it has a password, if, is it called Nichols? What is it called? Is it not showing up? Well, then it should have our own, pa I mean, a password we always use. Have you tried it yet? Well, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all thinking about renovating that big house, and I got to draw some plans for them. And, and I told them, I said, Lord, y'all getting all this property and this big old house. And me and Chris were thinking about going into living in this trailer and we're just worried about renovating our kitchen because it's going to cost so much to put our kids through college. Lord of mercy. Um, so we got to live at home another year before we could come down here. So we have a year to renovate down here and get this kitchen ready for Color Valley Cooks. And uh, so over the next year or so, y'all probably will be seeing us working down here unless we hire somebody to do it. Uh, and getting this kitchen renovated so that we can have a show. I'm not going to let my show uh, be done away with. We are definitely having Colored Valley Cooks, right? Is today the 19th? Chris, will you look down at the 18. bottom? 18. All right. March the 18th. Are y'all ready? Purpose. Oh, by the way, and y'all probably don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because you know this is my Bible study channel, and we went to church Sunday. We joined the church at Tabernacle Baptist in Hiram, Georgia, and the preacher preached on tithing and giving, and it was a great service, and I, I, I really enjoyed it, and he preached on giving the missions, and we have a thing called Faith Promise, where you uh, decide how much you want to give to missions every year. Well, not every year, per month. And you write it down on the little card, and then you give to Faith Missions. And the, and the goal, of course, is to every year you give more and more. And believe it or not, I mean, the more you give, God does bless you. It's crazy. And I was sitting there thinking, well, during that service, that... Um, there was a time when me and Chris pretty much quit going to church. 
And during that time, with some things that happened, and I just kind of said, well, we're going to take a break. And so we quit going, and I have to say that financially, we did not do near as well as when we were tithing. And our family, uh, just in general, with the kids and what the girls were doing and things like that, um, excuse me, we were not as blessed. Now, I sometimes think back and think, you know what, if we hadn't, you know, it was my fault. And if I hadn't got, had my feelings on my shoulders and not been able to let some stuff go like I did, um, some things maybe wouldn't have happened uh, to us and our family. Uh, and so when he was preaching that uh, on Sunday, it was making me recall the times that we are in church and we're tithing compared to the times that we're not in church and we're not tithing. What a huge difference that it makes and how God blesses us. Now, some of y'all will like that. Some of you will not, especially if you don't go to church and you don't tithe. But let me just say this. It makes a huge difference in your life. A huge difference. And does it mean everybody at church is perfect? Absolutely not, because you're not per perfect when you walk in there either. Nobody at church is perfect. Only God was, I mean, only Jesus Christ was perfect. But you don't go to church to just be around. I mean, you do want to go to a church that you can get along with other Christians. But we and Chris don't ever hang out with anybody at church. We don't hang out with anybody outside the church. We never have. Uh, we've served in the church, and it's good to go and have a place to worship, go to the altar when you need to pray, and uh, it's good to be tithing because God blesses us, and the more we give, the more he gives us, and that's not just the only reason to give, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with saying that I want to be blessed. I want to be blessed by God. And if you want to be blessed, then he makes promises in his word that if you bless others and you give to the church, which is the storehouse, then he will bless you and your family. And he does, y'all. He does. Now, does it mean you always have a perfect life? No. I mean, I got cancer when we were going to church and tithing. But I'm going to tell you, it was a beautiful experience anyway. I'd rather take that. As to some of the things that happened in our family when we weren't going to church and tithing any day. So uh, just remember that. I already gave y'all a preaching, a preaching session. So I was glad that he preached on that the day we joined. And of course, uh, since then we have tithed. And I want to give some to Faith, faith Promise Missions. So y'all just keep that in mind. Um, and some of y'all can't get out and go. And that's fine. Uh, but if you can't get out and go, then make sure you have time with the Lord um, and you watch, you know, uh, somebody, you know, just there is a plethora of sermons that you can listen to online from a local church around you. You don't have to be in the in the sanctuary to listen to what God has to say to you. Okay, today Mark is March the 18th and our Bible lesson is Purpose. It says, Psalms 57, I cry out to God most high, to God who will fulfill his purpose for me. God has a good plan for your life. Do you believe that? Or do you automatically think of the failings and the limitations that would disqualify you from serving him? Do not devalue yourself because of something in your past. The Father wants to reach others through you, and he has given you gifts and talents to that end. He loves to make the most of every life he touches. For example, I recently, this is Charles Stanley's uh, Bible study, and this is him talking. It says, for example, I recently heard about a group of death row inmates who had accepted Christ as their Savior. They made it their goal to reach other prisoners with the gospel and have absolutely revolutionized their jail with their love for the Lord. God has made them a bright light in a very difficult mission field. God can work through you as well. He has important plans for you to fulfill. 
and he's with you every step of the way. Don't worry. He has already considered all the things that are causing you to hesitate. Before he called you, he knew how to overcome every challenge you would ever encounter. So do not deny him. Let him make your life more than you have ever dreamed possible. And then his prayer is, Jesus, I am willing. Work through me. Make my life into whatever you wish. Amen. So, um, he's just letting us know that God will use us regardless of who we are and where we've been. He is, uh, he loves us. Okay? Because no matter who we are or where we've been, um, we're not perfect and he knows we're not perfect. And if you ever really get in the Word of God and you study it, you're going to find that nobody in the Word of God's perfect either, except for Jesus Christ. He used a lot of people that made mistakes. And the man that was after his own heart made a lot of mistakes. The main thing is, like I talked about a few sessions ago, is that we repent and we ask for forgiveness when we know we do something wrong. Because he likes us to say we're sorry and to repent and acknowledge our faults. And he forgives us for those things. So y'all remember that you're never in a position that you can't reach out to others. Give somebody um, a nice word. Brag on the Lord some, you know, and love him. Um, so y'all just remember that. When we're down here, I hope to be able to do my Bible studies, unless for some reason we're fishing out late. But I'll try to um, come on in between because um, I probably will have more time with us kind of away. And um, so y'all remember that, okay? I guess I've talked to y'all plenty of time, long enough tonight. I hope y'all have a blessed night. Let me see if anybody said anything. Hey, everybody. Hey, Tammy and Chris. Hey, y'all. Uh, hey, Tammy. Enjoy your getaway. Y'all hope, um, I just hope that we catch a few fish. And like I said, if we don't, we may take a trip down the road. So um, we'll see. Uh, our boat right now is filthy, so he's got to clean it up a little bit before I want to get in it. It's rained so much, it's got mildew all over it. No, I, I don't like to get in it when it's that dirty. I like for it to be clean and white and pretty. Um, but anyway, we left the house and it was sunshine and it just gorgeous. When we got down here, it was overcast and cloudy, so I'm hoping the sun does come out. Let's say our prayers and thanks for joining in our Bible study with a Real Southern Woman. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for the safe trip we've had to get down here and we pray that you would bless us while we're here and help us to uh, shine your light wherever we go. Um, may you be with me and Chris help us get some good time together and some rest as well um, and have a lot of fun while we're here be with everyone who's listening to this Bible study tonight Lord may you bless each and every one of them this week may you give them comfort and joy in their hearts and help them if they're going through something that's hard I know I've got I think at least three ladies that lost their husbands last month and I just pray for each and every one of them. Uh, it might be all right at our house, but it might not be at somebody else's. So uh, let's always keep each other in our prayers. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Uh, Anita says she never catches us live anymore. I miss your live shows on Color Valley Cooks. Yeah, I just... I don't do them quite as much as I used to, but I've been really busy doing other things. I promise it's not because I'm lazy. Um, but we will do some live shows down here. Okay? We'll see y'all in a few days. And maybe even tomorrow. Love ya. Bye.